Hi guys, it's November the 10th here on Cape Cod in Brewster. I'm doing another short video today. The garden videos have been very popular and we just wanted to share another one with you. This one will show you what you can grow on Cape Cod and what it will look like this time of year. You would think that everything would be pretty much done for the season, but you can still have some great color this time of year. And um, you might want to subscribe to the channel to be able to get more stories from Cape Cod and to follow us on, on YouTube for more great stories about real estate, about uh, art events and gardening and living on Cape Cod, which is what we're all about. Our new uh, channel for real estate is capecodstar.net and it is filled with lots of listings from the Cape, uh, things you might want to check out. And if you want to check out events on Cape Cod, you might want to look at to look into capecodstar.com. Uh, and be sure and follow us on the channel. Subscribe and get more great content. The other parts of the garden are actually looking really good. The evergreens, the hinokis, are beginning to die out in the middle some. Uh, which is a bit disturbing and disconcerting, but I think that's just what they do at this time of year. So you can see all the brown inside there. Our hydrangea cuttings that we've been doing, we've gotten those into the ground for the winter because we think they will survive better this month. We've gotten some, um, cuttings, I believe, of Annabelle and of our bright, deep blue hydrangea that we have. And those have all been just taken from cuttings from our main, uh, our mature plants that we have. And we've got them all planted here in the garden. And they have all begun putting out new growth. So we're beginning to change. And as you can see, there is new growth coming up. Oh, sorry guys. There's new growth coming up there at the base of the plant and some new growth coming out at the top. So they're doing quite well. I'm very happy with those. As you see, the bunnies are having a good time also. I'm not going to have names for everything. I'm not going to uh, even pretend that I know that much about some of these things. They're called Forester Grass. They've split and is now in our new little garden space that we've done. We also made this whole new space here, added on to this circular part of the garden and brought it on around. And he's making a an S curve here back into the new part of the garden. This is our climbing hydrangea that we're not sure if it's going to make it or not. This is our fern leaf buckthorn that we bought in the nursery in Truro that actually we had to um, to move this year at the end of the season. And it actually is looking quite good. The um, It's put out some new growth before uh, the fall here and it's got quite a few buds on it. We think it's gonna be in good shape. We'll have to see how that comes, how that develops in the spring. More new hydrangeas taken from cuttings and I just went over, this is one of the things that Val is most famous for, is for making these little pathways out of stone. And it's not easy. None of these stones were specifically made. They did not have flat tops to, to use. And some of them are quite large. And he has to dig out huge sections underneath the ground to place each stone in there and then put some gravel in between them. Those are featured throughout our yard. Here's one of the natural old glacial stones that is sitting here in the middle of the garden that uh, we're beginning to plant sedums and other low plants around our eight next to it there um, with some other grasses here, uh, grasses and reeds. The um, lichens have, uh, and lichens and moss have really taken a liking to this rock. We love what it's done. I love the lichens that grow on Cape Cod. They're absolutely incredible. If you stand still long enough on Cape Cod, the lichens and moss will begin to grow on you. Our acer is shutting down for the season. Our hardy moss that we bought from the 
famous gardener called the Holly Man here on Main Street and Free Street. They are pretty much at the end of their season, but they're beauiful in this state because they're a beautiful age of mauve and pink with their yellow centers. Even as they die, they almost become more beautiful. And they're just absolutely spectacular this time of year because you don't really have anything blooming this time of year. And uh, they make for quite a show. The iris are all asleep for the winter. And this is our creek myrtle that has turned kind of brilliant shades of red and green and gold. And it's doing quite well. It's especially nice against the rock sour. Acer has done quite well and is doing beautifully. We've got to do some trim because it's beginning to burst out everywhere in strange growth patterns. Here's the bank of party mums. These are the white ones. They don't look very white at the moment, but these are the white ones that we got from our guy here in Brewster. The best thing about these is you can buy a couple of small plants and they will continue to grow and uh, you can split them into multiple plants. I think from the four plants that we bought, we probably have had 16 or 20 plants come out of that. So even, even though they may be quite expensive to buy to begin with, you'll get a lot of plants out of them. You know, one plant makes four. Our Acer has gone to sleep for the winter and is got a few gold leaves left. But as you can see, there's not much left in the garden at this point. But overall, there's some pretty good color. And I'll take you quickly to the other side of the garden. It's not quite as nice this time of year because everything is beginning to go dormant. Everything's beginning to die. It's sad, but then there's still some great color and we love it. Val's done a great job with a little heart-shaped garden that, we, that he has built here, that we built here. I'm basically the person that stands back and says yes and no. We need to do a little cutting here, some trimming here. And he physicalizes most of it. And he's a, he's a brilliant gardener and um, he never tires of creating new things and new spaces in this garden. And that's our space. This is uh, just a report from a Cape Cod garden in the fall, November the 10th of 2023. Thanks for coming and we'll see you next time. Hi guys, this is just a little tag on to the end of the video that will show you the heart shaped garden and the stonework that Val has created over the years. There's the Panama Canal and the new walkway into the dining room. And it really creates a, um, an, an incredible space. And even though it is not filled with beautiful spring flowers at the moment, you can see that it has great color this time of year. And that's great for the middle of November. Thanks for watching. See you next time.